Last time I showed you how to inflate text in Illustrator, now I'm going to show you how to animate the 3D inflated text here in After Effects. All right, so let's start in Illustrator and the background graphic is going to be this. You can export as a JPEG and let's go to the bubble text now. I'm going to go and change the color and let's go and inflate it real quick. Go to inflate, adapt zero, inflate both sides. Let's go to the materials, scroll down here. And I'm going to go and increase the metallic to 04. Roughness, I'm going to go with 05. Let's go and activate the ray tracing to see how it's going to look. I think this is pretty nice. I'm going to add some more metallic, 05. And from here, we're going to need to import this into After Effects. So let's go to Asset Export. If you don't have the Asset Export, you can go to Windows and select Asset Export. And all you need to do is just drag and drop the inflated text into the Asset Export. Let's change the PNG to gltf now this is compatible with after effects click on export select the location where you want now let's go to after effects click on new composition i gotta go with 1080p a black background eight seconds click ok i gotta drag and drop the background right here press the letter s to scale i gotta scale it down and now we're gonna go to the gltf folder and drag and drop the asset uh, right here click on ok and you can press the letter s to scale it up is going to look something like this. Now, as you can see, the asset 7 is already 3D. The cube is activated, but we're going to need to do the same thing with the background image. So we're going to activate the 3D and we're going to go to active camera. Here I'm going to rotate the custom view 1. I'm going to bring the background a little bit more further. You can change the custom view to top. Now we're going to need to add some light source. So I'm going to collapse this, right click here, new, and we're going to select the light. I gotta go with 110 ish intensity. Click OK. I'll bring the spotlight all the way up. And we're gonna need to arrange the spotlight somewhere at the back. And I'm also gonna rotate something like this. There you go. I'm gonna add another one. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. And I'm gonna bring this into the opposite direction. But first, I'm gonna rotate another 90 degree angle ish. And just let's bring it here. I'm going to arrange it a little bit better. Let's test this out. Let's go to active camera. So it's going to look something like this. You also can go and double click on the spotlight and change up the settings. Cone angle, you also can increase it to make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to go with 100 plus. And there you go. You can increase or decrease the intensity. I'm also thinking to add another spotlight just for the sake of reference to see how it's going to look from the top. And I'm going to rotate like this, right click new, let's select the camera, click OK. And here we can go to camera settings, camera options, zoom. As you can see, it also changed the color, it made it more faded. So I'm going to get right click here, click on new, select adjustment layers. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in hue, saturation, drag and drop on the adjustment layers. And we can increase the saturation. A little bit more. Okay, so from here we're gonna need to animate this. So I'm gonna select the text, open it up, and we got here the X rotation. Let's go to the 0 15 frame, activate the stopwatch. I'm gonna go to the third second, and we're gonna type in here one. So it is going to rotate it 360 degree angles. Let's select both keyframes, right click on one of the keyframes, go to keyframe assist, select easy ease, and we're gonna go to the graph editor. And I'm going to select this handle and just bring it in to the first second. And I'm also going to bring this one in a little bit better and adjust it accordingly. Let's switch it back and let's see what happens. There you go. Now I also want to maybe rotate the Z rotation, but if I do that, it is going to rotate it really badly. So I'm going to press Ctrl Z and what I'm going to do is collapse this one and right click here, new, and we're going to select null object. We're going to bring the null object above the text. I'm also going to rename it as text. And I'm going to pick whip the text to the null object. I'm also going to activate the 3D at the null object here. Let's select the null object. And now we're going to open up the settings, transform. Here we got the XYZ rotation as well. Here we got the Z. And now I can switch it like this. And check this out. It is going to rotate accordingly and correctly. So I'm going to go to the first second activate the Z stopwatch. I'm also going to select the text, press the letter U, so it's going to highlight the keyframes and I can see this way what I'm doing. And I'm going to select this keyframe, press Ctrl C. I'm going to go to the second second, press Ctrl V. And here I'm going to go to the middle somewhere. 
And with the Z rotation, I just gonna move it like this. I also gonna select all F9, easy ease, and it's gonna rotate smooth. Now I also can add some shadows if you want to make it pop even more. And for this, I gonna select the text, press and hold shift, go all the way up to the spotlight, select all the spotlights, null and the text, right click, pre-comp, rename it as text, click OK. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in drop shadow. Let's drag and drop the drop shadow on the text. And we're gonna go to the distance, increase it, softness, increase it. And here we got the opacity and also the direction of the shadows. And this is how you can animate 3D bubble text here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.